history has ended. 50 years ago today on the afternoon of January 19, 1974, the Notre Dame men's basketball team coached by Digger Phelps ended the John Wooden coach UCLA Bruins 88 game winning streak. It was a remarkable upset that UCLA basketball teams would eventually win every regular season game and then sweep through the NCAA tournament to be national champions. Look, George Mallet <laughs> joins me with the dive into the archives. This is so intriguing for people who may not know the story. It's a fun story to be covering today. <laughs> Josh, there are so many storylines to this one, not the least of which is that John Wooden, the Wizard of Westwood, coached at South Bend Central High School for more than a decade. Wooden had provided a blueprint for beating his Bruins. He was on the record saying his team could be beaten with fine perimeter shooting, a minimum of mistakes, suffocating defense, and rebounding. Legendary Notre Dame men's basketball coach Digger Phelps describes the basketball bash with a sense of history. It is the first time anybody ever saw students rush the floor, which today is like pass the salt and pepper at dinner. On that January afternoon in 1974, the Irish men's basketball team had closed like a freight train, holding John Wooden's Bruins scoreless while notching 12 straight points to win 71-70. The star of that Bruins team, giant ginger Bill Walton, only knew how to do one thing, win. Obviously, the star of this team was big Bill Walton who to this day when he sees me, Digger Phelps, you ruined my life. You're the devil. And the reason why he says that, it was his first loss ever in high school and his senior year at UCLA, his first loss ever. Notre Dame had defeated UCLA 74-61 three years earlier. The Bruins didn't lose again until that historic South Bend afternoon in 1974. It was an 88 game winning streak, bookended by losses to the Irish. Phelps credits the five players who closed out the game with making it happen. But I'll start at noon today and call Shoemate, Brokaw, Clay, Martin, and Dantley and just say happy anniversary. It's that time, but this is special because it's 50 years. So yes, every year uh, I've called them. So the tradition still goes on. Phelps not only has an abiding appreciation for his 1974 team, he is proud of all his players. All my guys. I, mean, I had 56 guys play for me. 56 guys graduated, but they all had a career after basketball, and that's what we teach here at Notre Dame. And I also taught leadership, which is creativity, be a risk taker, have the right street smarts, and know how to be a survivor. And you take those four characteristics, and that's leadership. Making for players who graduate from the court to find their higher purpose. And the 1970s were an era when a lot of college athletes failed to graduate. And as the coach points out, that did not happen at Notre Dame. And Bill Walton, I did not know that until today, yeah. that he never lost a game in mm -hmm. high school, college until that day. Yeah. He ruined his life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coach, we see you. George, thank you for that. Taking a stroll down memory lane tonight. All right.